Applied Software Advanced MEP Fabrication Series. Subassembly. Multiple items can be combined into a subassembly for faster modeling. Subassemblies can be saved as a subassembly or cataloged item or as a customized product list. In this exercise, you create a subassembly using an extract terminal and an extract grill four way. Start a new drawing. Using the Service and Section drop down menu, select the Return Air Service in the ADSK HVAC Service Group. The Return Air Service palette appears. Click on the End of Line Equipment tab. Select the Extract Grill four way. The Item Properties window appears. Set the width and depth to 12 inches and click OK. Place the grill anywhere in the model. Select the Hide Attacher button to remove the attacher arrow from the grill. From the Service palette, select the Extract Terminal. The Item Properties window appears. Set the width and depth to 12 inches. Click OK. Place the Extract Terminal just to the right of the grill. The exact location is not important. If the Fix Relative dialog appears, select OK to close it. Use the Hide Attacher command to remove the attacher arrow. Change to a front view display and zoom extents to display both items. The grill is on the left and the extract terminal is on the right. Use the AutoCAD Move command to relocate the extract terminal. Pick the extractor terminal and close the selection set. You're prompted to select a base point. Hover the cursor over the center of the bottom edge of the extract terminal. Each individual item has a node insertion point. This item has two node insertion points, one at the top and one at the bottom. Select the bottom node. You're prompted to specify a second point. Pick the node insertion point at the center of the bottom edge of the grill. Change to an SW isometric view with a conceptual visual style. The extract terminal is centered over the grill. You can also use the AutoCAD 3D Orbit command or the View Cube to select a view from below to see how the grill is inserted into the bottom of the extract terminal. Return to a top view with a 2D wireframe visual style. Type the command Save as Subassembly. You're prompted to select objects. Type All and press Enter. Press Enter again to close the selection set and execute the command. The Save Item File As dialog appears. Expand the Imperial Content folder. Subfolders for various types of items are listed. For this exercise, you'll create a new folder for this subassembly. Right click on the Imperial Content folder and select New Folder. The Page Properties window appears. Select the Name field and enter Subassembly. Click OK to exit the window. A problem dialog appears warning that the folder does not exist. It asks if you want to create it. Select Yes to create a new folder named Subassembly in the folder structure. Once the folder has been created, the problem dialog will not appear when adding more subassemblies to the folder. The new subassemblies folder is shown in the folder structure. Enter CAN plus 4W Grill RA 12 by 12 by 8 in the file name field. Click Save. Delete both the grill and the extract terminal. The drawing is empty. You'll now add this new subassembly to the return air service, but first you must force CAD MEP to reread the service palette. Changes to services and additions of items and subassemblies are only recognized if the service is reloaded. To do this, change to another service type such as Supply Air, then change back to Return Air to force Fabrication CAD MEP to reload the service palette. Click on the Edit Service Database button. The Setup Services window appears. The Return Air service is current. Select the Service Information button to the right of the service name. The Edit Service Template dialog appears. In the right pane, click the End of Line Equipment tab. You may need to scroll the tabs to the right to locate it. Once selected, the Service buttons for this service appear. 
In the left pane, click the Item Folders tab and expand the Imperial Content folder to display the subfolders. Expand the Subassembly folder. You see the subassembly that you previously added. Drag and drop the CAN plus Grill RA 12x12x8 subassembly to an open space in the End of Line Equipment tab. The new subassembly appears as a service button. Click OK to save this change to the database and close the Edit Service Template window. Click OK to exit the Setup Services window and return to the drawing. Notice that the subassembly has been added as a service button to the end of line equipment service palette. The service button uses a generic symbol of a blue circle with a green plus sign. In the next steps, you add a more descriptive image to this service button. Click on the newly added service button and place the subassembly into the model. The location is not important. Zoom and pan to display the inserted subassembly. Double click on the placed subassembly. The item edit window appears. On the left is a view pane with view, visual style, and other controls. The default view is whichever view and visual style was last used. This viewer pane enables changing the appearance of the item or subassembly and saving it as a new icon for the service button. In the view pane, change the view to SW isometric and set the visual style to shaded plus lines. Right click in the view pane and select Save as icon. Click OK to exit the window and return to the drawing. There is no apparent change to the icon for the service button. Fabrication CAD MEP only reads the icons when a tab is loaded or refreshed. Click on a different tab in the service palette. Select the end of line equipment tab to return to this service palette. This updates the tab and the new icon is displayed. The subassembly service button displays an image based on the view you created in the item editor. You can repeat this process to change the icon as desired.